remarkable story of survival from a Georgia man. He was hiking a volcano in Central America when he says he fell hundreds of feet off a cliff and was lost for days. Mm. Here's ABC's Andrew Dimbert. A hiker from Georgia is talking about his miracle rescue from a volcano. I'm very lucky and blessed to be alive. Zane Walyani was hiking on a volcano in Guatemala last month when he says he got separated from his group, then fell 400 feet off a cliff. In my head, I was immediately like, oh, I screwed up. Walyani bruised his kidney and shoulder in the fall, and his cell phone was dead. So for four nights, he slept inside caves and even in trees. A tree felt like the safest place to sleep in uh, the first day where I was, just because if not, then I'd be sleeping on like a jungle floor. And... Uh, I hate spiders, I hate bugs, and there's a ton of those out there. I had one terrible PB&J and, uh, and about, I want to say, about four cups of water. While Yanni said he survived on a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and some bananas he had packed, he says he even shared his food with a dog he found. I feel like the reason I didn't run into any jungle animals was like every time that dog's ears pointed up, I really just was like, I'm going the wrong way. Clearly there's something ahead of me. And I was like, I would just like change course. While Yanni's friend reported him missing when he never made it back to base camp. After four days of no contact, while Yanni stumbled onto a road used by farmers where he ran into police. People are actually going to work in these farms and I realized I'm out. And I start saying when it was Diaz, I'm just excited to see someone. I was talking to myself for four days. Andrew Dimbert, ABC News, New York.